The icy conditions have North Texans who depend on public transit really worried at this state. Our region's largest system, as you know, they shut down last year when ice threatened the operation. So the question is, will it happen again? We've got our Steve Pickett live from downtown Dallas. Uh, Steve, we're right in the middle of home rush hour for DART. Tell us what we can expect. Yeah, right now they say they're fairly optimistic that they can keep this system running. It is, as you, as you mentioned, right here at rush hour where many people here in the Central Business District would be heading home. And we've seen these uh, these trains behind me come and go here for the last hour or so. 120,000 people a day here, Nicole, in downtown Dallas on DART. Another 19,000 in Tarrant County with Texrail, uh, their metro lines as well. People using these systems. Today, however, we talk with these commuters in the Dallas here. Uh, area talking about this system and how it impacts them. Uh, we saw these alerts being issued by DART about the possibility of weather impacted delays uh, for riders from the 13 area cities that use DART. De-icing efforts were underway for rail cars. We saw that today. We were also told bus routes for this city are being sanded, treated by the city of Dallas to keep these buses moving as well as if and when ice moves in. The concern right now, as you mentioned, will there be a complete shut down based on those icy conditions from last year. DART officials acknowledge ice affects rail power lines and they halted that bus service as well during a winter storm from almost a year ago. So we spoke to many of these folks who use this system today and they want reassurance that this system is ready to serve them now. I, mean, I was stranded. I mean, I got out where I needed to go, but I couldn't get back. So I had to, had to Uber it, which cost me a fortune, which I can't, I can't afford that. I rely on Dart's $3 fees. I'm stuck. You know, I'm not able to go to work. So I hope they don't shut it down. You know, I, I depend on it. So many others do as well. All right now, everything is going looking very well. We're prepared for this sort of scenario. Uh, if there's any concerns, we'll make sure we tell our riders well in advance that there will be a service impacting issue. But right now, we're not seeing that concern. DART also reminding us that there are transfer stations in downtown Dallas throughout the area. You can stay in those transfer stations and stay warm while you're waiting on your bus or your train. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.